Hello everybody, getting ready to do lesson 8.8 .8, part 2 homework today for pre-algebra math and you got 91 points on your homework sheet. Have that out in front of you now. Students, put your name date period here on your tablet, your phone, your paper, or your Chromebook. Let's go right into page 1 of today's uh, homework lesson. 9 points here, page 1. 24 geometry. The graphs of the three equations below form a triangle. Find the coordinates of the triangle's vertices from here and do that over here. You got three tables here you can use. And then 25 extended problem solving here. Write a system of equations describing the total cost of buying and operating each printer up here. And nine points here, page one. And that goes over into here from the previous. And then part B, use a graphing calculator to solve the system of equations. After how many pages are the total cost of the printers equal? And do that here. You can use a, the grid if you want. And part C, interpret when does the laser printer have the lower total cost? And then calculate that down here. 14 points, page two. Page three, part D, uh, explain means using full sentences. And then visual thinking down here, uh, M and B for each of the system below as a given number of solutions, justify your answers. So yeah, do that. And you got 12 points here on page three for 27 and 28. And then for page four, challenge question here, write a system of two equations for this system. Each equation should be solved for L. It's for part A of this uh, up here. And then part B, what should the dimensions of the reflecting pole be? And you got 16 points here for page four. Page five, solve the inequality, graph your solution here. Disregard the red dots, just graph the solution for each of these inequalities. You got 15 points here for page five. And then I'm going to go ahead and put those zeros in there for you. Maybe that'll help it clear out a little bit. So you got 15 points, page five, page six, continue up here with 33, solve and graph. And then here, write these in scientific notation here in these boxes there. 15 points, page six, and then there's your arrow. And then page seven, write a linear function that satisfies these given uh, conditions here. And then multiple choice. Uh, here's your uh, multiple choices for this question. And you got 12 points here, page seven. That's your homework for today. Animated PowerPoint math video at ALO.com for questions or course materials. Thank you very much.